my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am in a different spot today. I'm actually in my bedroom filming because my office is a little bit destroyed. I'm working on filing things and kind of getting that space organized. So it's not looking very cute for filming today. So I decided to film in here. I'm also a little glammed out because I'm going to go out with some friends tonight. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about creating better to-do lists, a little more organized to-do lists, maybe a little bit more meticulous. I started using a planner last year and I've always had planners every single year that I've tried to use and last year I received one as a Christmas gift that was pretty pricey and I thought I better utilize this planner because this person put a lot of thought into it and it actually became a really great tool for me to use for my business, for my schooling, all of that good stuff and I found myself getting a lot more organized and as a single mommy and as a mom in general, we can all tend to forget small details if we don't write them down. If somebody wants to do something with me and I don't write it down, I'm going to forget. Or if I even invite somebody somewhere sometimes and I don't write it down, I'll forget that we had plans. So that's just mommy brain for you and it's kind of irresponsible to leave people hanging like that. So this year, my New Year's resolution, as you guys know, was to become more organized. And I am using my Sensi 2018 planner. If you are a consultant, you guys can get this from the family store, so I was really excited because it's a pretty substantial planner, it's hardcover, and I really love the layout of this. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about the way that I plan. So first of all, I do monthly planning at the end of every month. So for example, at the end of December, I sat down and I did my monthly planning for the month of January. In that, I like to use different colored pens and I kind of make a little legend on the side of what each color stands for. For example, for me, I have school, I have work for DJ work, I have Sensi YouTube, performances, meaning performances that I have to attend because I am a mu music major at school, so I have to attend a certain amount of performances per semester, um, appointments, events, and church. So I have those things written down for myself. A lot of you guys obviously will have to customize that for you. So when I'm looking at my planner, you can see that there's different color pen in here and I can see everything that I know that I have planned for the month. So for me, I have to write down all of my gigs for the month, um, which kind of lets me know more or less my budget for the month as well. And that always um, changes because as a DJ, you can get last minute gigs, sometimes you can get last minute cancellations, but I always write down what I know that I definitely have, I write that in for the month. Any performances that I see on the music calendar, I write those down. Any appointments that I know that we're going to have for the month as far as doctor appointments or um, you know any kind of appointments, I write those down as well. So I can kind of know what days I have open and available and from there I will go ahead and create uh, a filming schedule for myself for YouTube. I can create a gym schedule for myself. I can kind of add in those little odds and ends so I kind of go from the most important activities that need to be put in here to the least important and fill those in. And of course, you have your days off, so you know when people want to do something with you, you can go to your planner and say, oh, well, you know what? I have the afternoon off, let's do lunch. So you can kind of add in those extras later on throughout the month. So that is personally what I like to do. Then second of all, I like to do kind of a weekly planning for myself. Um, I do have different lists for that in my office, which I should have brought, but they have like a weekly layout and you can write down your to-do list on that, just kind of like an off the top of your head. But to get really, really organized, I love to do daily to-do lists. So I do this the night before and sometimes throughout the week as I'm remembering, oh crap, on Thursday I have to do this, I can't forget, I'll go and write it in on my Thursday square. So most planners have a layout where it's a day-by-day -day layout so you can kind of write more um, detailed to-do lists for yourself or more detailed things like addresses and stuff like that. So that's what I do for myself and I am finding, honestly, that the daily to-do lists are so amazing, you guys. I am feeling like, for example, I mentioned in my New Year's resolution video that when I started my daily budget and my monthly budget, that Dave Ramsey states that it takes about three months to get on track and that you are going to feel like you got a raise because each dollar that you have is assigned a task. So when you first start doing a daily plan for yourself, you're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed because you're going to realize how far behind you really are on things that need to get done. But once you start completing those important tasks and getting everything done, you're going to start feeling like you got a raise in time because you're going to feel like 
Okay, I have all of this stuff done, and now, literally, for tomorrow, I have three things to check off. Oh my goodness, on Monday, I have absolutely nothing to do. So, on my daily list, I add things that have to be cleaned in the house. I add any paperwork that I need to file away or turn into school, any appointments that need to be done, all of that stuff. I write every single little thing down, and honestly, at first, it is going to feel overwhelming, like, oh my god, I'm never going to get these to-do lists done, but as time progresses, you are going to feel like you got a raise in time because your time is going to be more organized, you're going to be able to utilize it better, and you're not going to feel so overwhelmed when you have tasks to complete. You're going to probably be done by the morning and have the rest of the day off to yourself, which is great. So that's what I am at least finding for myself, that I feel like I'm just getting more productive with my list and I'm feeling like I have more time for some fun, AKA me going out tonight with friends because I had a very busy week doing a lot of to-do list stuff. So I just wanted to share what's been working for me and hope that it can work for you guys. Some people like to use several, several different planners. Um, I like to use one planner for everything because I feel like, uh, okay, if I have something planned for school, and I am looking at my work schedule, I might forget that I have something planned for school and schedule a gig. So um, I just like to have everything in one place. I do have a planner for meal planning, which I am going to start doing once I start school because I feel like I'm just a little more organized with my time and um, my meals are better eaten during the school year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will have more videos coming up soon for you. If you have any requests, leave them down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.